Good afternoon, I'm almost certainly real, and I am going to be going for a another attempt at the blister run. We might be resetting if we get a bad loadout and we get a bad map. It is tough. I think my strategy is going to be to pray for some universities, and I think I think I do need to build more towers because of because of the regeneration. Um, we should actually place down all these houses. Gotta love that. Not really the best opening, but uh, we'll deal with that. I like the way that the uh, the map's looking so far. Okay, Enchanted Bolts. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's get Broadhead, though. That's kind of more of our issue right now. We'll pick up the quantity over quality a bit later. And uh, we are going to need a... Um, we are definitely going to need a anti-armor guy soon. I see banditry, I pick banditry all day. So this is definitely a pretty tough challenge. I think my main problem has been that my... Um, Sorry, I'm just going to upgrade this to armor damage. What do we want to get here? Frost bolts. Yeah, sure. Um, we'll do that. My main problem that I've been having is... I think the regeneration. I don't think that I have enough towers to keep the... To keep the sort of damage over time effects up. And then uh, the, the enemies end up regenerating. I was looking at... There is a bit of an encyclopedia thing... Um, that you can look at at the in the game menu and uh, yeah some of the ones I'm having problem with definitely have quite a lot of regeneration uh, heavy shafts sure I do want to pick up universities fairly early on um, they are they're nice to get a little bit of upgrades before they show up and the other thing is they open up some cards I want to pick anyways and you got to be a little bit concerned. If you notice, we're getting a lot of things that I definitely don't want to pick on a Ballista only run. And you can kind of, if you get forced to unlock a tower, it can really hurt you because then that adds even more cards that you don't want into your pool. So we're uh, we're definitely looking for, for things that we want. Yeah, we're going to get bleed first. Okay, whoops. We're selling that guy. We are building a Ballista here. I do like the looks of this map so far. I am liking it. Build another anti-armor guy, I guess. Oh, let's build let's build up these houses. Get them going. We've got What is this guy up to? He's up to 319. That's good. So we're definitely going for uh, I think a more of a spamming build. Want to have enough enough towers that we can keep those dots up. On all those units that are that are coming out, um, heavy shafts. Let's get the one range. That's just very convenient. Ooh, that is. Not the worst split in the world. not the worst split in the world it's not the best either we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this because I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and wrap this path here around if I can get this path to come around again potentially we can work with that so yeah I'm just gonna keep playing this one out I think I just not sure that that is the right choice yeah we'll get burn I want to pick up all those all those different kind of sources of uh, yeah, this guy's going to get a little bit more range. I'm just going to give him a little bit of armor damage. Help us out with that. Definitely getting a little bit of... Uh... Put a units with quite a lot of armor there. We got ourselves the most health progress. Most health, that sounds good to me. Um, 
Okay, uh, the quantity over quality, we definitely want to get that at some point. Um, so we might as well get it now. get our other ballista down on this house here. We've got another house location over here open. Okay, 25% bleed. Sure, we'll go for that. Maybe actually... I might open up the poison, just because that unlocks a couple things, and that just gives me more things to... Uh... What's the range on that? Uh... I'm not going to build the other one. This one will still end up shooting into here once we get... I think we get two more range upgrades. I'm going to maybe make one of these guys most armor here. Just to try and get that armor off a little bit earlier before we get into get it into our other units because the armor um, is not uh, the best thing in the world so let's go let's go longbows that's just gonna help me with my positioning if I can kind of think about that a little bit more like I think I I think I end up getting this guy because we're gonna get one more you can sell them but he's gonna get a lot of levels like he's gonna get a lot of levels um, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. And I'm not going to want to sell him because of that. Oh, that's interesting. These guys are able to fire now. So yeah, I would love to see it kind of wrap around if, if at all possible, if we could get this guy to come around. But that's all right. That's all right. Um... Let's go for, I think, the... I think the slow. Yeah. I don't think that it, it super matters for us right now, but... I think I'm going to start bringing out some of these other lanes now. I'm just trying to think that, like, if this lane's here and I can keep it as a... No, I... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to start working on these, bringing out these other lanes now. I almost wouldn't mind a split here and have more stuff come down the side, because this stuff in here is going to get to attack a lot, like if I build up this area. Let's see, trail of blood, bleeding enemies, vile consumption, poison enemies. Um, I'm going to start working on the enchanted bolts because I want to get towards the crit there. I think I'm going to do that a little bit preferentially. We're on level 14. This guy is an armor guy. You can take just a little bit more of an upgrade there. Help clean up that armor for us. I think we're doing pretty okay though. I'm going to slap on a least health guy and just give him a little bit of juice there. This probably just going to give a little bit of anything everything, but I think he's going to eventually become a most shield most health, most armor type of guy. And then we're going to go and, and mostly go shields on him. That's going to help uh, help us. I'm, I'm already thinking about wave 40, to be honest, because that's the only thing that really matters. Um, extra crit against bleeding enemies. I do like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. All about that crit chance. It's not very valuable right now, if I'm to be honest. Um, but it gets 
gets to be pretty pretty damn good. Uh, this is our boss round. I had slightly forgotten about that. The classic Oogie there. I don't want to overinvest in armor, but we do. We are going to need some for. Um, I mean, for the for level forty, we need a bit. We're also going to need some for the dressing. I'm going to put him on. You know, I'm going to put my most armor on. Is I'm also going to put him on least shields. Because so I don't want him attacking stuff. Even if it has the most armor, I don't want him attacking stuff that has. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta think about these priorities too. Maybe a little bit better is another thing. Okay, I have 3,000 gold. I really should be spending my gold. I'm sitting here saying, uh, oh, I only care about level 40, but then I'll just like end up dying because I have 3,000 gold saved up. Um, yeah, plus one to shields, I guess. It's useful for now, and that's kind of gets us towards a 10% grit bleed. So we only got one chest there. I think you can get between one and four, so we don't. We don't love that, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm gonna get another most shields here and get you a bit of shield damage. And we're gonna go least hell, uh, least armor, least shields, least armor, most health, I guess, and give you some health damage. And then Yeah, this is good for most shields, I think. Another most shields guy. So we are seeing seeing a little bit of shield stuff coming through. And we're definitely gonna need quite a bit of shield damage up front. And these guys will level themselves up pretty well, these ones up in the front, because they're going to get quite a lot of experience. Got a reasonable amount of plus threes and plus twos. I'd like to see that. We're really, um, really hoping to see some good universities. I think that that is something that I did not get amazing luck on last time. And... Yeah, it would be nice to get some amazing luck on universities. I think I dragged this lane out too far. I was really hoping it would, it would come back around. I'm just trying to think about, like, I actually kind of want this one to show up first, I think. Or do I want it to show up very last? Now, if it shows up first, that's better. That's a lot. You know, I think we have, we have, we have the room to do that. We have the room to do that, I think. What do we got? We got another plus two there, plus one. Maybe build a little bit of shields back a bit. We need a, a healthy mix. Most shields. Um, yeah, so we, I think we pick up the university now, just, just out of an abundance of caution. We definitely want to have it there by level 26, because that's going to be important, is, is getting reasonably good university luck. We can maybe maybe you can win without it, but I think I think you got to get you got to get at least a little bit of uh, juice out of your universities, or you're gonna have a pretty hard time. Yeah, you know what? No, maybe we don't do least uh, uh, least armor these shields give you a bit of health damage there um,
And most shield, and I want to go least armor on that. All towers again, 5% crit. Yeah, we like that. I mean, the range I like as well. We'll get the range eventually. So most shields, sure. So I want to go maybe least shields, most armor, give you a bit of armor damage. What do we want to do? Let's just do another near death, which is going to be health, I guess. Most shields, most armor, most health, I guess. And give you some shield damage. Touch of health damage. There's a range on this guy like, okay, he can shoot a decent amount into this, into this back line. If I build something like here, yeah, that's pretty pog. Uh, banditry three. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Cause that getting gold is basically a permanent bonus to us. Um, man, I've got to move this one out a lot too. To get it to get it so this this top one's the first one for us do i necessarily need it to be the first one no really. what i need is by the time units get to here into this area this top area has passed through here right which uh, yeah i think i do want it to be first basically speaking. There's a little bit of timing type stuff, but the waves end up becoming very long. Um, so we're going to do a most health, or no, most shield, I think most armor, most health, and give you some shield damage. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we've got to wait a little bit. Um, Least health, sure. Most shield, sure. So there is some guys we do want to kill that, that have a lot of shields. So after we do most shield, most health, most armor, we want some ones that do least shield. That's the most health. Okay, but I want most armor, least shield, progress. Or most health. Okay, that makes sense to me. 25% um, poison damage. Didn't realize I didn't have that yet. But uh, that's nice to get. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder about about the splits. If this isn't fine, because by the time these guys get down. Like, by the time they get through to here, these guys are going to be past that area. I might just start dragging this wave up top out. What I'm thinking about is t building towers in this area here, like this one here, these guys, is they can shoot while it's coming through here, and then they're going to be able to shoot again as, as stuff comes back around there. And just the timing on that of the waves. So I'm, I'm going to keep dragging this out. We'll think about it. Um, and I think I want to have, I want to have towers that are targeting most armor, least shields, most health in here and get some armor upgrade. Get those guys, get those guys upgrading. 
And then as we come back through here, we definitely want to have some most health, most shields, uh, universities, 5%. Or 3%. I, I'm going to take that. We're close enough to 26 that, you know, that can really pay off if you get some early shrines down. Most health, least shield, I guess. Sure. Um, Shouldn't get armor damage on that guy. That's a pretty good difference between these guys. Oh, um, oh, okay. Never mind. I thought that that, um, <sighs> ouch. Okay. You know, I, I don't mind getting universities, getting the 2% bonus as long as we get enough shrines. We are, are definitely going to want to get some shrines. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this run so far. You know, this is another one of these kind yeah. of. I'm going to go most shields here. Ooh, okay, there's some patch notes out. I will go over that. Looks like there's some cool fixes. Oh, some huge boost to mana bolts. That's interesting. There's some interesting looking patch notes there. We will go over them after this. Run. And what was I doing? I was doing a most shield guy over here. This guy also can fire kind of a double time type situation. We'll put you maybe on a most health type situation, least shield. I think I think that's important maybe that I haven't been doing is uh making that distinction of saying, hey, if I'm going to put something on on most health, um, I should put it on least shields as well. I might find, I'm, I'm trying to figure out now, well, one, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this top lane. I think we, there's some chance we're going to get portaled up there. Um, all towers gain of 5% crits. Um, yeah, there's just uh, so much here that I want. Um, I'm going to go with heavy shafts just because it keeps more stuff in my pool. So what I'm going to be doing now when I pick stuff is, oh, I didn't actually even mean to expand that one. Yeah, this is going to be a portal, I think. Yeah, it has to be. Interesting. Um, so what I'm going to be picking, the way I'm going to be picking, is not necessarily the best tower for me. But it's going to be towers that keep things that I want in my, um, in my pool. So there's certain towers, like if you get plus one, to shield damage, you can get that three times. Where there are other upgrades where if I get it once, 
it doesn't unlock anything I want. And so it reduces the total number of cards that I want to sort of pick in my deck. Um, and that's important for the level 25 and level... Less so for the level 35 boss. I mean, we got very unlucky there on the first boss, only getting one chest. But hopefully we'll get more chests on the 25 boss. And you only get three chests. So... Or, sorry, you only get three picks from a chest. Uh, you can get, I think, one to four chests. So I'm very... It's very, like, um, fairly high odds that you get forced to picking something you don't want in a treasure chest. And so keeping the maximum number of things we want is, uh, I think, very much worth it. Oh uh, shit, that fucking... Okay, that was stupid. Um, I, I was making a shield guy, and then I upgraded health. Um, and in that respect, we are going to continue to take this Enchanted Bolts, because that unlocks a crit. So that was the last... So let's do this. Yeah, we get the portal there. Okay. Um, that's an interesting situation. I think I'm going to have to get make use of fastest, actually. Just to create some additional targeting. I think that's going to be important for making sure that everything gets slowed down. Or everything is getting hit, sorry. And in terms of keeping those... Keeping those damage over time effects up. So the enemy can't be... Can't be healing... And fastest. Okay, I'll give you some health. Touch of armor damage there. How oh, zombie Oogie? He's getting pretty fucked up there. We'll just go for a straight fastest on some of these, maybe. Some degree, it's not perfect because different enemies have different move speeds, and some of them are naturally going to just be very fast. Um, yeah, we just have to take the bleed there, because we definitely don't want a tower. Because a tower will unlock even more cards than just the tower. It'll... Hey, how's it going there? Uh, HQM Y27? That's cool, yeah. I'm, uh, trying again. Trying again. Hoping for some better university luck. Look at that. So actually, I think this happened last time where I got a university on the very first uh, possibility and then I got no more after that. Um, so health, I think I care about. Shields, I think I care about. I don't know that I care about investing in armor. I do need some. I'll maybe go uh, shields here and armor. We'll invest a little bit. Definitely invest a little bit in armor here and there, but we're mostly going to focus on our uh, our shield damage, our shield and health, I should say, because I think that's definitely what uh, what's going to cause issues for me. As I say that, I'm actually going to go for a least shield. Most armor, most health here. And give him a little bit of armor damage. Because we are eventually going to want some for the for the portal spawner guys. And we do we do want some for level kind of 30.
I think we've got one more range upgrade, which I am pretty actually excited for. We'll get Creeping Cough. Yeah, I mean, all of those are basically equivalent. And I think... I have to watch these two lanes now that the spawn timings on them. I think... I think I'm going to be dragging this guy out, this one out, to make this my longest lane. I wish I could shorten this lane, but that's not really an option. This portal is... it's a very early portal. Yeah, and these guys, these, oh, it's, I, I didn't, I don't think I thought about the slow as much. Um. Oh, uh, shit. Look at that. I was missing a house there. Yeah, quality over quantity is too good. And we still got one more level in that that we can get. I think we have pretty good coverage in terms of different things getting targeted. I think fastest is actually going to be kind of useful for us in terms of keeping keeping stuff targeted and keeping those dots on and making sure they can't regenerate. Let's go for a most shields, most armor, most health. Give him some shield damage. Uh, 10% crit, that finishes something out. University's three. I'll pick up if I have to. I don't I don't know that the 1% is good enough unless you have a lot of universities. Which we're not doing bad. We just got we just got a, another one. And that is a lot better than I did last time. Last time I had I think three universities in total over the entire course of the game. I don't love the, the way that my lanes are spread out, though.
least armor, at least shield. Uh, 5% crit, I believe so. I'm actually going to get the range, just it's convenient for me in terms of... Okay, we got some discoveries. This is like, in total, I feel like that's the total number of discoveries I had last time I played at level f at 40. So I'm feeling good about the universities. Uh, I think actually I meant to upgrade these a little bit. Yeah, oops. Bit of an oops. We'll deal with that though. Again, okay, I'm going to go health, mana... Yeah, and we'll just cross our fingers on these universities. No shield. <clears throat> Progress. Or fastest. Yeah, let's go fastest. Do I need to invest any more into armor? I don't think so. Maybe a touch. I definitely want to make sure there are units with the, the first spawners do have armor. So let's go with you least shield, most armor. We'll give you a bit of extra gold. Um, uh, plus one to health, plus one to health for sure. That leaves us with another thing in our pool. Okay, okay. I am feeling a lot better about this run than I was, um, you know, say at level 20, 25. So we've gotten a good number of universities and that is just it's pretty hard to pass up that kind of like scaling when you have so many buildings right or yeah yeah if we can get if we can get some good rng on those those universities i think that we have a good shot at winning this I would definitely want to, I, I would love to do this before the patch. So there's a patch that's going to come out, I, I think today or tomorrow um, type of a thing. Hmm. Armor, least shield, and then fastest. And I'm not going to give him a crazy amount of upgrades because he, he's going to upgrade himself. I'm going to probably be spending more upgrades on these guys in the back. Let's go with a most shield guy here. Upgrade shield damage. And he can just be a flat most shield. So we'll give a good number of upgrades to someone like that and then... Something like this is on, say, most shield and fastest. Be spreading that damage out. Did I just upgrade? I think I might have just upgraded health on that guy. Uh, I will take a look at that again. Universities. Do I go for the extra 1%? It's tempting to pick up. What would that give me? Right now, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh shit, I shouldn't be spending. I gotta spend gold on my universities. Fuck, that's bad. Um,
I'm going to get it because I think I'm going to basically get everything else I want. Um, and let's go 20, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, uh, 60, 60, and that's all we can do there. Okay, let me spend because there's a reasonable chance I will forget again. And you know what? We'll leave armor at... Uh, we'll leave armor just at its natural. We get 6%, you know, off of every single one anyways. So... We do not really need it. We've got another, another spot for another university, so... I am liking it. I'm liking it. We've got a lot of levels left. We've got 8 levels left. We can get quite a few... Quite a few more points. Then it's just just a matter of spamming ballistas now. Level 35, we're gonna hope hope to get some good good stuff out of that. I, I do really want to see the next level in level times crit. Let's go with uh shield and let's say fastest. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop spending my money, because I want to be over here doing this. Monster health. Magic. Don't want to spend too much money, but definitely, like, kind of into the... Kind of the 200 cost range. Is that where I've been putting these guys? 200? Yeah, I think that that's... That's a good place to go, damage-wise. We can start to think about moving this one out, like going a one by one soon. It's interesting. This this spawn is basically at the same length as this spawn. Um, so I think we're gonna do a one by one. Actually, I'm gonna take this one out one more and then we'll go one by one. Does that work for the number of levels left? I think roughly, um, and yeah, here so. Yeah, we'll take we'll take the burn there. Uh, universities, yeah, let's just take them up a little bit. Um, let's do that. And let's see, we got four two one, four three two. Not bad, not bad. We're getting there. Go with a least hell, uh, least shield, most health, and fastest. That sounds like a reasonable combo to have. Give it a bit of health damage. All right. Let's see what we got coming through. So we still see, still see these guys with armor working their way through. And I am, I mean, we do need some, we do need some armor damage, you know? To kill the sort of the first the first guys do have sure I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do another so is that kind of fastest with the I'm gonna go so most health you're gonna have a lot of health most armor 
and then progress sure oh no i want to do most uh you know what uh, i found out that the order doesn't matter here actually so we're gonna do just a mix of those on that guy it's a little uh unfortunate i guess doing least shields is, is worth doing but we'll do progress i guess um Am I getting the crit or the poison? I guess the crit. Uh, now I want to get that poison because that it's really important. Important that poison doesn't come off. Uh, four through three. I think we just got. Do we just get one armor damage? Not the best of luck. Um. And we didn't get another university. No, we didn't. Alright, you can see this, this line is starting to be a reasonable conga line. This, yeah, this guy ends up just showing up. This is actually quite a bit slower than this one. Hmm. Yeah, my spacing is really not great. Like, this one has to come out, like, four. And then that means this one has to come out four. And we don't have, we don't have the levels for that. So let me think about this. I think my best bet is almost to take this out one more. Where, can I do something with this lane? I'm not sure that I can do something with this lane here. Because me taking it out further just puts it puts it in a worse position. So I'm not I'm not hyped about that. I actually weirdly think I do need some more armor damage up front. I'm trying to think if level 40 has armor units as well. I n I'm never looking at the front at 40 because I'm always like building in the back line. Uh, there it is. Yeah, we like that. We want to get that. And the other thing we want to do is get that other 10% crit. Um, I, I think I more or less... I think I just got a lot of research. Yeah, I did, I think. Yeah, I think we're just more or less going to drag this line out. Almost in hopes that I get a split out this way. In terms of spawning more units. Because this does reliably end up coming in after everything else, I think. So I think that pulling this out for and hoping for a split out this back one is kind of my best option. All right, let's start using these. Uh, something like a plus three we should definitely have. Let's go for a uh, most shield by um, fastest, I guess. Should spread that around. Upgrade that guy. Plus one here. Okay, yeah, that, that does shoot over into there as well. So let's go most shield fastest again. We're definitely going to have to have some most health. As well, like fastest, I think. And least shield, I think. I got to put my most health on least shield. I'm going to assume that we're going to be killing everything with armor before it gets through here. And then we're going to go for some near death. Um, give it a bit of health damage. You can be near death and fastest. Give you a bit of health damage.
Let's go with a fastest, most shields, sure. Okay, let's check these chests. Tower, no, okay. So what we like to see, all towers gain 5% crit, we'll take that. Okay, awesome, 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 that was great. Um, at level 35, there's definitely a decent chance that you can get forced into picking up a tower. So that's really nice for us that we didn't get that there. Heavy shafts, I think so, because that gives us access to a 10% crit, which is very nice. Okay. Seven, four, six, that's decent. It's a lot better than I had last time. Fastest, least health, most shields. And most health, most shields. Sure, and then fastest. I don't, I'm curious how fastest will get calculated in that. That's up on the ones up high. I should be investing a little bit more into. So they get a little bit of extra base damage. They'll scale up a little bit and better with my investment. I don't know that I love how I'm doing. It's all right. So this plus two. How does that shoot? Yeah, we'll we'll mess with that. Let's go for most shield, most armor, most health, and give you some shield damage. Work on targeting down those, those big boys. That's what I'll do with my plus threes, I guess, is give them that kind of, a little bit of that targeting there. Most shields, most armor. Poison enemies, yep, take an extra bit of damage. Like to see that. Okay, we got a split, which I think is good. In terms of increasing the total number of entrances, less is gonna come out of these other ones that are a little bit tight together. I mean, the problem with that is this one's a little tight together. I don't, just given the number of openings and I'm not gonna actually count because I'm too lazy. I think I can only build maybe one or two more actually, um, but I'm not positive. And I think that that's almost always gonna be targeting high shield stuff. Um, I shouldn't have put points into other stuff there. Yeah, so level 17, sure, it'll take you up a little bit more. Um, near death, you're always going to be on that. Just go with the fastest and maybe most armor and just give you a little bit. Just a little bit of juice. Want to be filling in all these plus ones for sure. Yeah.
Go for a fastest, most health, I guess. Maybe a little bit of unique targeting there. Frankly, I don't know how many I've just left on progress, 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 so whatever. Drop one on there. Go for fastest and maybe most health as well with a least shield. Actually, I should always do that least shield on these more health ones. Anyone that have on more most health should also have least shield, I think. Uh, oh, these guys, a lot of these original guys I dropped down are actually on... Um, I'm going to switch these almost all over to fastest. So I feel like that gives them a pretty good chance of attacking different things. Go for a little bit of near death as well. I mean, some of these we do want on progress towards the end, I think. Yeah. Five percent crit. Yeah, I think we take that. And let's keep going here. We'll try to drag one of these lanes out. We have not gotten not gotten any more universities. We I think we did a well overall. 8, 5, 10. I think I think I'm not in any position to complain about that. Fastest most shield. And let's go, shield, shield, shield. Least shield, most health. Fastest. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have too many on fastest. <clears throat> but it does seem like an efficient way to distribute damage. And I do think up here I'm going to need... So I don't know that I have... Okay, yeah, let's go change the targeting on these guys. Fastest. Most shields. Fastest, sure. That sounds good. Most health. Least health. That does not seem like the best targeting in the world. We can leave one just on most shield. Most shield in progress. Most health. Let's go least shield on these guys. Level 9. Near death progress. So yeah, health damage. Level 16, level 12. Near death fastest. I like that. What do we got? We got a ballista here. Let's go with most health. Least shield. Sorry. Least shield. And then uh, I'm never going to get mana bolts because I'm not I'm not getting the I don't think it's worth the cost of all the mana banks you have to get. Most health, least shield, and then fastest I think on this guy, and then give you a bit of health damage. Fastest. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. These bat battering rams really take their... Really take their sweet time. Uh, there, 10% crit. Beautiful. Love to see that. Or 
All right, we're getting close. We've got 12 shield damage, which is pretty pog. Um, not gonna lie, I am uh, uh, pleased with that. Assis, bit of shield damage, touch of health. Fastest. Probably shield damage is going to be what's going to be the fastest stuff for the most part. But the, the really early on upgrades are super cheap, so we might as well grab a little bit of them. All right, the next level is it, basically everything we've done doesn't matter because it's trivial and the next level is the test <clears throat> oh, shield We'll see. This is the first time I've tried going wide like this. I normally I normally build build sort of stronger towers, um, and I think those are more cost effective for damage. But I think the issue with that is you get um, a lot of units that don't get hit, and the regeneration is what kills you. And I think a combination of using like the fastest and lots of different targeting types is you keep your dots up, and I think that that's actually kind of super important. Um, Oh, that's a mine there, kind of ruining. We'll see. I always feel I always feel like decent going into level 40, and I've done this a couple times now, and I always lose. I, to be fair, this is the first time I've gotten this good of university stuff, but I don't love the split on my lanes. This portal kind of messed up my plan. Um, I was hoping to drag this one this one lane out super far, and I originally had this one short. Um, but I think I think there's a good chance. I think this I think that what was actually killing me before was the the lack of spam because I had, and they were just like getting. Um, and bit of that, bit of that. Sorry, and they were just uh, regenerating, which is a kind of a huge problem. Okay, what did we get? Uh, crits do 10% of the current bleed as extra bleed. The plus one shields. Um... I'll go with this, I guess. I think that that's good. Yeah, because the, they're going to be a lot of bleed stack because of bleed is the last thing. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I want my things targeting fastest over here. I'm just going to keep spending my gold too as we can. Near death you can take some health damage. Leash shield. Okay, let's put you on leash shield as well. I should have gone through and checked all my targeting, but that is a little fucking boring, to be honest. Okay. I don't hate it so far. I don't hate it so far. At least only I have. I want to go. Most shield. Shield damage. 
It's a little... I feel like I have to be upgrading, but I also kind of want to watch. Um, most shields. I do feel like I'm doing better than I have in the past. By a fairly significant margin, if I'm to be honest. I do think that the dots were actually causing me a lot of issues. Um... Because from a raw DPS perspective, I do think that the near death, so you get health damage, least shield, you get health damage. I think I should have some more shield damage. Actually, I think I'm a little bit light on that. So I'm looking around for some shield guys. Let's get some more shield damage in there. They're getting farther, but not, not that much farther. We got some towers that aren't even attacking back here, so that's... It bodes well. It bodes well. This is, um, yeah, the dots actually completely stop regeneration. Like, if you're doing one dot damage a second, it will stop an infinite amount of regeneration. It's not even like that they you add them together or something. It completely negates it. I go to between 200 and 300 is usually what I do for universities. Um, okay, so it is definitely, if you want to do the ballista only run, go wide with lots of targeting. It is definitely, I think, the dots that were causing me issues before. Because I think overall damage, maybe I was doing the math wrong. Because I just, I don't know, a lot of times I'll just quickly try to calculate in my head what is the most efficient, um, what is the most efficient, like, upgrade to get in. It always seems like upgrading, Upgrading towers that are, are already strong feels better, especially up to the four times crit max. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. I I feel good about my chances, but I don't want to get complacent. And I think I was lacking a little bit in the most shields. Fastest. Let's get some shield. Plus one damage to armor. Um, oh shit. Okay, I'm missing a 10% crit. Damn. Uh, there's a 10% crit after that health one. Holy crap. I would not have guessed. I would not have guessed. Okay, we're to the point where we're getting pure portals. Um, let's see here. Progress, progress, fastest, most shield. Yeah, let's give you a bit more damage. What I think I want to do here least health most shield so we do get we do we still get some armor guys i mean it's just not it's not super relevant overall least health uh that seems like a weird targeting uh this should obviously be on most health um least oops where was that one most health least shields Least armor and least shield. Okay, that was a bit weird. You can get some extra shield damage. Let's build some more towers. Let's build some more towers. I don't want to get overrun here. I'm looking for good spots to build, but I don't see them. So let's go most shield, fastest. Let's go most shield, least health in a weird combo just to mix up our targeting, keep that stuff. Most shield, fastest. Oop, shield damage, shield damage, shield damage. How's that going? It's going all right. Most shields, most shields, most shields. I almost want to... Okay, most health. Oops. Because we do, we, I do see some health coming through now. I do... Do you want to make sure we're killing stuff? I'm a little nervous just because, like, I've di I've made it. This is the first time I've made it past 40, and if I lose now, I'll just be, like, at least medium enraged, if not more so. And I don't love how much these guys are making it through fastest. Uh, probably shield damage with a mix of health. Yeah, I might be getting enraged here soon. Progress. That was closer than I liked. That was closer than I liked by a pretty, pretty significant margin. So, um, I think I have to think about killing the, so most healthy shields. No, I want, 
Yeah, I want some. I want some shield. I want these guys to get a little bit. I want to. I think I want to kill stuff. The the bigger stuff. I want to get that stuff dead a little bit earlier. Um. That's a weird targeting on this. What are you doing? Okay, no, that's fine. Most armor, least health. So you should be at least shields. I don't know what's up with the targeting on this stuff. Go with fastest, and I'm going to dump you a little bit. Yeah, I, I sort of tried to do that with some of these. Like, I guess they're not crazy high level, but... They're a bit higher level, the sort of the more sh most shields guys up here. Um, I guess make them suffer. I weirdly think that make them suffer is maybe bad for me. In the sense that it can cause me to lose the dots. Um, I care more about not losing the dots than I actually care about actually doing the dots is sort of my, my thought. Like... The dot damage is nice, but if I lose the dot and they start regenerating, then that's like not not ideal. Um, so I'm gonna go fastest, uh, most shield, most health, and give that a bit of shield damage. Yeah, there is a lot of enemies though. That you're probably right, but it makes makes me a little nervous. I don't think. Uh, the last two rounds we haven't done as well off the universities. Not that I'm in a place to complain, and I think I want a bit more health damage in here. This little zone, the so there's two sets of spawners, and the second set of spawners were making it a little bit far for me. Um, I want to get them killed. Plus 100 global damage, really? Off of universities? That's kind of crazy. Did he just like level them up a huge amount? Maybe, I think I actually probably should have put more gold into that. Um, to like 30%. Yeah, I think I actually should have put a little bit more in. Let's see, so what's coming through? Just trying to watch and see like what's actually gonna cause me problems. There's no point upgrading stuff that's like just not going to do stuff for me. Um, yeah, um, well, levels, levels will increase your base damage and like the multiplier, whatever multiplier you put it in, if you're leveling it up manually type of thing. So I am seeing, yeah, I'm seeing kind of these guys. Make it through the sort of secondary spawners, which means I want a little bit more health damage here. Okay, let's spend some gold. Let's spend some gold. Um, most shields fastest. Most shield. Let's give him that. Let's get some near death ones going as well, I think. Near death, give you a little bit of health damage. Work in a couple more near deaths with a little bit of health damage. Okay, that round uh, felt felt a lot better, actually. I think maybe that that upgrade that gave me it is a, it is a decent amount of extra damage from the dots. I think I'm I'm definitely overly nervous about losing dots because I think that is what was killing me before. But I just had I had like. A quarter of the towers or something like that um, most shields most health uh, where is most health come on come on come on there we go most armor I'm gonna get another one of the kind of big guy killers up front Most are I think I want to go most armor, most health, least shields. 
There we go. And give you a bit of armor damage. Just help kill those. Okay, okay. I am feeling pretty happy about that. We do still have the Oogie. We do still have the Oogie. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, an extra 10% crit. That's insane. Yeah, I actually, I didn't realize I still had that upgrade sitting out there. I thought I had gotten them all. That's like an insane damage boost. I think we're, I think we're, I think we're good. To get like 10% crit. I don't think like the difficulty of the level scales such that, uh... And I think I'm actually gonna weirdly take this off health. Yeah, you get you get kind of nutty crit. I think I think like the optimal level you because the upgrades start out really cheap too, so I can always dump like it's only like ten golds and I go up to like four. I get like three yeah I get three percent crit a level, so you can just like even if you get them up to level five now they're already getting like those X three crits. Um, what are you gonna do? I think fastest is just a good targeting to have with with different stuff. What do we do? Give you a bit of health damage. Because it naturally as things gain get hit, they get slowed down. And so like your your targeting is constantly switching up. Which is nice to have. Go here fastest. And then most health, most armor. And I'm um, in the hope that that just does a little bit of slowdown on those, the bigger guys. Okay, let's not get complacent though. I don't love to see stuff coming through here like that. No shield damage. Fastest. Okay. All right. Yeah, we, I mean, we still got these towers that are kind of like, they get to shoot twice almost. And in that respect, we will give you sort of a most shield, most health. There we go, and fastest. And we will upgrade shield damage. Yeah, we got a lot of money there. probably do with some near death slash fastest as well which is a unique targeting I don't think I've got very much of that yeah I think we could use a little bit of low health um, guys here Least health, least shields, least armor, least shields. And then just give them a bunch of health damage. Um, I guess we get the, uh, do we get the bleed or we get the damage to shield? I think I'm gonna get the, I haven't been paying attention to see how much actual bleed is on them, but I think I'm gonna get that. The, uh, Crits deal additional 10% of the target's bleed is extra bleed damage. Plus one shield is tempting. Okay, we definitely, yeah, we definitely got some more, more of our universities there. And we just got, uh, I think, one health and one armor. And we can go ahead and go near death, give you a bit of health damage. Let's get some near death going up front too. Near death, give you health damage. And then maybe a near death and fastest. Oh, look at that, we got near death fastest. I think actually I, I could do with a little bit more stuff targeting fastest up in this, this front area.
Yeah, it's nice. It's nice that we have this this like these towers all get to attack this wave coming down here and like they couldn't they they won't be able to attack this stuff until it comes through. So they really get to do a lot of work for us there. These ones here I maybe should invest a little bit more into, but say la vie. Uh, let's go with near death and give you just a little bit of investment. And a near death and fastest, I guess, and give you just a little bit of investment. That'll help us not waste shots, I guess, as if we're able to take that stuff down. Let's go with a fastest and maybe like least um, armor, least shields, give you a bunch of health damage. Do another one of those, least armor, least shields, and most health, give you a bit of health damage. Help us chunk stuff down there. Okay. It, it, it almost gets easier after 40. Just because of like the relative economy you get versus the difficulty scaling, I feel like. 41 was a little, maybe a little bite my nails a little bit, but uh, most health, most Armor, most shields, give you a bit of, I don't know, everything. Who knows? So we got quite, we got quite a lot of stuff sitting here in this back line to uh, take care of stuff. And as long as it's just these eyeball guys coming through here, I'm trying to make sure that we're killing the, the other ones though. I actually think it's important to have, I think I've built a couple of these, but uh, some least health, least shield guys, maybe? Maybe that just counts as near death. Um, what do we got? Tower, 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 monster studies. I like it. 44. Okay, we're on to the last level, guys. This is... This is pretty pog. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's uh, just see where Oogie's coming from. Yeah, he comes from the last one unless you place the tile, so that makes sense. I think we're fine with that. That's a pretty good distance away. I'm gonna go with a near death fastest. Give you a bit of health damage. We just dump in a little bit of these. Uh, dump into my health damage up in here because I think I think I'm doing a good job of killing the first the first splitters. The second splitters are making it maybe a little bit farther than I'd like, but I think still still okay. Thank you, thank you. This is better than I've ever felt. Well, I've never actually gotten past 40, so, um, you know, it's definitely quite an improvement. Most health, least shields. Uh, armored life. Sorry, I'm losing my mind here. I want to get uh, health. Okay. Okay. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Because the rest of these are, are more spread out than those two. Th these, these guys kind of come in all at once now. Now that we've killed that, I think this is a little bit more spread out overall. Is it? Uh, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not, actually. There's a lot of portals there close together. I think I'm wrong on that. I think these guys are a little bit more together. So most shield and progress. Sure. Let's give you that. Let's go ahead and hit this with just a 
Good old classic most shields. We'll do that. But I think this is looking pretty good. I think this is looking pretty good. It is definitely, so if you want to do this, you got to spam. You got to spam and spread out your targeting types, I think is the key thing here. Um, I think I could actually, I don't know if I could reliably win, but I think I could win like fairly often. Um, oh, I wanted to do a most health, least shield guy, most health, and then least shields. Dump some gold in. Most shields, sure. Fastest, most shield, most health, I don't know, whatever. Most shield, fastest. Build another guy over here. Least health. Uh, let's go near death, actually. Yep. Okay. We got the Ogi still, but I don't foresee him being a problem. We do potentially maybe not have very much in the way of armor damage. Um, nah. I think we're fine. Yeah. He just, he really has very, very little life. You know? Yeah, I'm... Uh, er, like, yeah, every time I, like, worry about the boss, I'm just immediately, like... Um... I'm immediately reminded that they just have like almost no life and that's good game. All right. I am happy about that. I am going to take a screenshot. Yeah. So if you want to beat this, it is definitely uh, spam ballistas and, and mix up their targeting so that you get, you get a good spread of those, of those dots getting applied. Cause I still think the overall if you're just going for max DPS, going like going up till you get like that times four crit. Can I still spend my money? Um, oh yeah, I can. Huh. Like you can see here, you can get like times four crit, and that's like kind of super valuable. And even like the damage, the way the base damage and the health damage both go up and they multiply together. Um, yeah, but I think just the dot and the slow, making sure that that gets applied to everything. I think that yeah, spamming towers is for sure the way to go.